Sovi stocks has always been the only cheap choice of use for the people with less mobility to access their day-to-day -day life objects. While training of these animals to qualify as an efficient service pets involves rigorous training to the animal. Whereas on the other hand, the service robots of these kinds are very costly for a common man. And our idea is to develop a low-cost vision-guided robot that performs autonomous service operation by exhibiting the functionalities of both the service dogs and the high-end service robots. The BeagleBone Black is the core processor used in our project that performs real-time video processing of the robot's onboard camera and sends corresponding control commands to the two slave microcontrollers so as to control the robot's movement based on the visual feedback. The two slave controllers in turn will control the other peripherals of the robot based on the control commands received from the master. The BeagleBone Black is booted with the Ubuntu 14.04 LTS operating system and the OpenCV library is used to perform real-time video processing. The object recognition is done using the oriented fast and rotated brief feature detector and the brute force matcher. The processor recognizes the object of interest and calculates its location with respect to the robot's position and directs the robot towards the object through appropriate control commands to the slave controllers. Since a monocular camera is being used, a sonar is used in conjunction with the camera to estimate the distance between the object and the robot. And a limit switch is used on the gripper to sense the object grasping by the robotic arm and to switch to human detection algorithm from the object detection algorithm. Here, the robot is now faced towards the object. The processor recognizes the object of interest, calculates its position with respect to the object and make a move towards the object. It also makes fine adjustments to centralize the object with respect to the robotic arm. And once the robotic arm got a hold of the object, the limit switch is activated and which in turn will provide a feedback to the processor to change from object detection algorithm to human face detection algorithm. The processor identifies the human face using a hard cascade classifier. The robot then searches for a human face within its field of view and the control command is sent to the controller to rotate the robot in order to get 360 degree field of view. If the human face is detected within the field of view of the camera, the control command is sent to the controller to enable the sonar pulse in order to estimate the human distance from the robot. And the corresponding action is taken to reach the human and to drop the picked up item. This demonstration shows a complete search algorithm of the robot with additional calibration. In this autonomous operation of the robot, the BeagleBone Black processor sends the control commands to the slave controller Arduino to control the DC motors of the robot via two L298H-bridge ICs and the robotic arm only after calculating the average value of the detection rate so as to avoid false positive detection and to avoid errors due to motion artifacts. The considerable amount of delay is given between every processing loop of the processor to ensure proper stabilization of the camera for vision processing. Here, though two objects of similar features are kept close enough, the robot can able to identify the correct desired object of interest and return it back to the person without any errors. The robot can also sense the change in illuminance in its surroundings using the OPT101 photodiode connected to MSU430 controller which in turn will control the onboard lighting system of the robot, hence enabling the night mode operation of the robot. The robot is powered by a 12 volt lithium ion battery connected to a central power distribution board that can source 12 volt and 5 volt to the robot and a separate powering unit is used to control the robotic arm for better stability. 
The LM338 adjustable voltage regulator from Texas Instruments has been used to power the BeagleBone Black processor to meet the higher current requirement of the processor as we have experienced thermal shutdown with other conventional 5V regulators. And we have used powered USB connector to interface the camera and the BeagleBone Black processor to further reduce the power consumption of the processor. The additional features that has been provided in the robot is that the entire system of the robot can be turned on and turned off with the normal infrared remote control. And a switchable manual override of the robot ECOM is also provided using the MSP430 microcontroller and the RF transceivers for the user's convenience. These are all the Texas Instruments components that has been used in our project whose functionalities was previously explained during the course of this video. Well, neither the human nor the robot can do a task without proper training. Hence, this level of accuracy of our robot has been achieved from several trial runs that has been done during the calibration phase of the project. Thank you for watching the video patiently.